Hi everybody and welcome back to Field Trip Fridays with the Grand Coteau. Today we're going to be visiting the Plaza Theatre. The Plaza Theatre Auditorium seats around 200 people. It has surround sound and a fully digital screen since 2013. Did you know that the Plaza Theatre is the only theatre in all of Canada that has been operated by the same family since 1930? These, our choice here, were um, the original entrances to the bathrooms that were in the basement. I should have doors that will go in this archway because they used to be high doors on them. It's really cool. Yeah. And you would go either this way into the auditorium or follow this original hallway into the auditorium. So then in 1996 or 97, they did a huge renovation and downsized the theater, the size of the theater from 500 seats down to 200 seats. So this, I have no idea, this is just a really old projector maybe. This is a, I call it a ticket muncher. I don't know what the actual formal term for it, but you would take your ticket, put it in here and spin it and it would eat your tickets or your receipts or whatever and crumble it all up into the bottom. It was so much fun to play with as a kid and then we started being not allowed to touch it. <laughs> this is the new projector system and the server so this is this connects all your um, speakers. Like these are all. This is for, this is all for your sound. Um, these are connected, obviously, to this, which is the projector, which shows the movie. Um, movies used to come in a reel. Like these are just previews. These short ones. These small ones are just. This is like, this, is, this would be a preview of a movie that you would play before the, um, the feature presentation. <laughs> Remember they used to call them that? <laughs> um, so they would go on something like this, real, and there used to be a big rewind table over there where you would actually have to take all the film, all the different sizes, like the, we had really big reels and the smaller ones, but the big ones were where the big movies would go. Small ones for, for the previews. Um, anyways, you had to build, essentially build the movie with the film. So you would splice it and make sure it would go and make sure you put it on the reel the right way or else you would have movies playing backwards, which has happened. <laughs> but now they come on a hard drive, which is, it honestly blows my mind that this is, you get this and then you get a key sent to you where you actually download it onto a USB drive that you plug all into this system, which is locked right now. Um, but your hard drive goes in here, plunk that in there, locks in, then you have to put a different thing in here. I'm not gonna turn it on right now because it takes a lot to turn it on. So then once you've got everything ingested into that system, you turn on your whole computer system, which turns also this on, and then you still have to build the movies. So you have to add the sound, add the, the volume of the sound that you want. So your previews sometimes are a little louder than the, the feature itself. Um, so it's really cool to, you pick what previews, you pick what order they go in, so any sort of thing. So you still have to build the movie, it's just a lot more technologically advanced than it used to be. So the, you would have rolls of tickets that would go in here and they would feed out and somebody would come in and you would have adults, children, students, and you'd press how many and it would spit out how many tickets out of these little things.
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.